application on. This is looking at some MR scans that we have. Um, and we can do things like uh, zoom in on this so I can fly through the, the brain here. Earlier we saw skeletons, now we're looking at brains and eyeballs. It is Halloween, almost. So here's some uh, scans that I'm able to fly through. These are very high resolutions. The scans are actually streaming over the wireless connection to this device. So as I'm flying through this, it's actually doing this uh, over the net and live. It's a lot of data flying around. And I can do uh, controls on this, so if I'd like to, I can uh, change the windowing of this image, which is changing how the different levels are shown inside the image, so I can get understandings of where the more the harder and softer areas are of the scan. I'll go back to the original there. And I can also do inversion if I wanted the image, of course. I think the on black is best here. And I can zoom in, so I'm going to pick the little zoom tool, and I can do a little uh, pinch zoom here. And I can actually go in on the scan here and we can get a, a closer look at, at these eyes and this nose. Um, now, as a, a doctor, I might want to make some measurements on this. So I can use the tools right here in this application. And I can measure, for example, I don't know what to measure. I'm not a doctor, but between these two eyeballs. Okay. The distance is 33.6 millimeters. Um, I can also measure the size of things. So here's a, a radial measurement tool. And I can just tap here and it will create a radial measurement and then I can resize that right on, on top of this eye. And you can see it's calculating live a little label here that so, shows you the area, the perimeter, and the size. And the responsiveness of the application is very good. Um, this application is actually built with Flex. Uh, it's using Flex 4.5, which is in beta right now. It's a very cool framework for building mobile applications. And it is available to you today. So if you want to start playing with Flex 4.5, uh, the beta is up. You can start building your own mobile applications. Um, and actually, over the past year, we've had a great adoption of, of, of Flex and developer technologies. And we've seen a 50% growth in developers around the Flash platform just in the past year. So we're having a lot of momentum around Flex in the development community. So thanks to all you guys for uh, taking advantage of this stuff. So this, this application is, is really, really cool. And I kind of forgot to say what device that I'm showing here. So let me show you what I'm actually using here. This is the BlackBerry Playbook. And this is the first time... This is the first time that this tablet's actually been shown uh, running live in public here. And we can just go out of this application into the OS. And um, we're even more fortunate to have the co-CEO and, and founder of Research in Motion, Mike Lazaridis, with us here today to talk about the playbook. It's great to have you here. Thanks great for joining to see us. you, Kevin. Good to see you, too. Thanks for having us here today. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Um, obviously, we've got this great app on the, on the playbook. Have you had any medical training? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. You wouldn't want me to be your doctor. So maybe I'll take mine out. OK, I'll sure. Mine with yeah. you. And we'll uh, plug it into the audio jack. All right. So we can hear some stuff. There you go. So you, you've been talking today about um, you know, how magazines are being transformed right. and how your tools are used um, to create you know, the, the next generation in sort of content. Um, one of the things that we've, obviously we're working together on that, but right. one of the things we've focused on together has been this, this idea of how do we get the um, Flash developers um, and how do we get that air platform to be right. something that, that people can write to right. and go beyond just content, right. right? And you saw that first. I mean, that's a very sophisticated application yes. running on the device, and it's the same application that was running on the PC. That's right. And so that's, that's an exciting new ch change. And, you know, when we talk about how our, um, our enterprise customers want to leverage the BlackBerry platform, well, the Adobe customers want to learn how to leverage their tool sets and their experience and their content, and we put that all together exactly. in the playbook. Because what we've done is we've worked together to really embed air right to the metal into the operating system. So yep. we've done a lot of things together yep. to really make that work. So yep. if I could just... I'm excited about the work. I think this is going to be a great platform for doing uh, air app development. So, you know, this is... You just saw some content. You saw some pictures in, in our media viewer. Well, what you don't know is the media viewer is written in air. Right? So, and... So... What we've done, though, is we've worked together to make sure that we, we not only put, got all of air in there, 
Right. But we've linked the air into our multitasking environment. So you can be running other applications at the same time. Um, and these are all air apps, all running on, on the playbook. And you know, and here's one, for instance, um, uh, SAP CIO cockpit. This allows you to get into your IT support right. and into your calls, and you got real-time connectivity, and you can, you, can, you can drill in. And we're picking up the data, and we're displaying it in a nice, popular uh, pie chart format. That's great. Right? Um, but everything's still running. So for and instance, that's integrating with your back-end system, so SAP in that case. That's right. Using whatever. Yeah. That's right. And, and the other thing we've done, work really close together, is to get air integrated into Full touch capability, right. um, you know, precision touch, multi-touch, multi -touch yep. gestures. So I just want to show that a little bit. For instance, you know, when I go in here, I can select very precisely what it is that I want to look at. Um, it turns out it's hard to do that. Hard to make that right. work well. Exactly, and you know, and you can see that everything's changing in real time as we're going through that. And at any time, I can switch back to the other apps. And here's Salesforce Chatter, right? And this is a real-time social networking. Right but enterprise-grade social networking application. And again, it's live and it's running, and you can drill down into it. Um, so you can drill down into it, you can, you can start up a conversation, you can reply to a conversation. And again, all these apps are running. For instance, here's a, here's a, a PowerPoint presentation, and it's running live. Um, we can go into, uh, we can at any time call up and bring up uh, a new application. Now what I've just done there is I've launched another Air app. This Air app is our video player. Okay, cool. And we can go in here and we can now pull in high definition video. Let's see if we can get the audio to work here. So here's high definition video running in a media player that uses Air as its interface. And this is so using the same uh, stage video, basically the stage video innovation first on tablets. That was the first time right. to do that. And while this is running, um, you can see that all the other apps are running too. So, so you can see that it's all multitask. And this yes. is, this not is dropping, very right. different it's from... Great. Yeah, it's hot. So all that's there. And one of the things I wanted to do is along with, along with the video work that we've done together. Yeah. Um, you know, let me just uh, get, launch that out. And I want to show you something else. Okay. Again, what we're trying to do is we're providing a professional experience, something that we're all used to on our desktops and our laptops, right. in a small, you know, very powerful tablet format. And we've we've made sure that we've um, opened up those APIs for your developers so you can right. start writing applications. Right. Right. Now we've gone even further because we've been talking about this for a while. You know, we're not we're not trying to dumb down the internet for a small mobile device. That's right. What we're trying to do is bring up the performance and capability of the mobile device to the internet. And so what we've done is we've worked together close, closely to right. put Flash 10.1 player exactly. inside our browser with full stage video. So you can see the whole web. That's right. Good. We'll go to internet, we'll pull up the browser. And so here we go. Uh, and this is all live on the Wi-Fi network here. And there's the, the actual YouTube site. It's not a YouTube app. It's the regular PC actually, web page. Yes, yeah. that's right. You might be familiar with this uh, video. <laughs> so again, it's HD quality video running in this case. That's via right. YouTube flash player onto this tablet. That's great. And you know, and, and beautiful. It's actually running. That's really cool. One of the things I'm excited about too is how we've made these applications run consistently across OSs, but we've also taken advantage of, of the OS. So you can do notifications, for example. That's right. You can integrate with the, the system underneath and really take advantage of the capabilities of the playbook. Just pausing it. It's really cool. Get rid of it. There it is. It's all Beautiful. there now. So when can people get this? I, you know, I want one. Can I have this one, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, you did such a great job with that uh, Unity application. I think you should have one. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that we've done, today we're launching the BlackBerry Playbook SDK for Adobe Air. So that the developers can start developing their applications for the Playbook, using their Air tools, using their experience, using our Adobe tools, and you can start taking advantage of all the APIs we've put in there. Whether it's for you know, the multitasking, the gestures, 
uh, multi-touch, yep. or whether it's things like the accelerometer or the file system or the wireless protocols or the GPS system. You know, all those things can now be accessed from the, um, the, the air interfaces and API. So it's, it's a really powerful application environment. And, you know, and, and the other thing that I just wanted to mention, if, uh, you know, if, if you need any more encouragement to develop air applications for Playbook, um, you know, if you write an, a new air application and it's accepted to BlackBerry App World, um, you'll be eligible for a free BlackBerry, or a free BlackBerry Playbook. Well, all right. That's not in our bullets. No? <laughs> so can I, uh, okay. can I take mine All right. Mic? Yeah, sure. You can take Thank you yours. very much, Mike. It was a pleasure having you at stage. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Um, okay, so there's a lot happening in the enterprise.